Alright, so good day to all. Today I am tasked to discuss further on Li Cheng. And if you could remember in our last activity, we had a single stage operation process. And in this juncture, we are now being introduced to a multi stage Li Cheng operation. Now, there are actually two types of multi stage Li Cheng processes. There is multi-stage cross-current leaching, and then there is a multi-stage counter-current leaching. However, in this video, I am only going to discuss a little bit of the multi-stage counter-current leaching, along with problem 12.10.3. But before we go and solve the problem, let's discuss first what really is multi-stage counter-current process. Now, from the name itself, Counter current meaning the current moving in opposite direction in every single stage. But here in this system, we are not only going to deal with one stage, we are going to deal with a number of stages. Hence, it is called multi stage counter current leaching. Now, if you still don't understand what leaching means, it's simply just a partial dissolution of solid material through the use of a solvent in order to uh, carry away the desired solute. A simple and everyday example for that is making your morning coffee. Simply as that. Now on this stage, you'll see a figure that shows the process flow for the countercurrent multi-stage leaching. This is just similar to that of the liquid-liquid extraction. The ideal stages are numbered in the direction of the solids for the underflow stream. It is labeled there the figure feed solids the solids then is entering the first stage and the solvent is entering the last stage the final underflow is leaving from the last and the final overflow is leaving from the first stage everything is just similar to that of the extraction process now there are things you need to remember for this process or this system that solvent C and solvent A phase or what we call the B phase is the liquid phase that overflows continuously from stage to stage countercurrently to the solid phase. And this, as it moves along, this dissolves solute. In the slurry phase, L, this is composed of the inert solids B and a liquid phase of A and C, as I just mentioned, and is continuously uh, moving underflow from each stage. Note, that the composition of the V phase is denoted by X and the composition of the L phase is denoted by Y, which is the reverse of that for the liquid-liquid extraction. Now, for the assumption, it is assumed that the solid B is insoluble and is not lost in the liquid B phase. The flow rate of the solids is constant throughout the cascade of stages, as in the single-stage leaching V is kilograms per R or pounds per hour of overflow solution and L is kilograms per hour of liquid solution in the slurry retained by the solid. And these are the important formulas that you need to know, you need to remember. I guess that's all about the basic things that you need to know in this process, countercurrent multi-stage leaching. Now we go on to problem 12.10.3, countercurrent multi-stage washing of ore. Created ore containing inert solid gang and a copper sulfate is to be leached in a countercurrent multi stage extractor using pure water to leach the copper sulfate. Now, the solid charge rate per R consists of 10,000 kg of inert gang B and 1,200 kg of copper sulfate, which is the solute A, and 400 kg of the water, labeled the C. Now, the exit wash solution is to contain 92 weight percent of water and 8 weight percent of copper sulfate. A total of 95 percent of the copper sulfate in the inlet ore is to be recovered. Now the underflow is constant at N equals to 0.5 kilograms of inert gang solid uh, per kilograms aqueous solution and required is to calculate the number of stages. After reading the problem, that actually sounds a bit difficult. For you to actually trace the problem, it's important that you write down the given data, so then you will not be lost. And then, when you've identified all the data, which is the solid charge rate per R, that consists of 
thousand kilograms of inner gang, four thousand of copper sulfate, four hundred water, exit wash solution ninety two and eight three percent of water and copper sulfate respectively, and the other flow constant at zero point five kilograms of inner gang solid per kilograms of base solution. Now to actually solve the problem, it's easier if you draw the process itself, the system itself. You label them. Uh, according to the given data. Now, from the data given, we now can solve the mass for the underflow, which is the L1, by multiplying the mass of the inert solids with the kilogram solution per 0.5 kilograms of inert solids. And we will now get a 20,000 kilogram solution in the underflow stream. Now for the overflow, we actually multiply the kilograms of copper sulfate by its composition, 0.95, divided by 0 0.08, which is its composition in the exit. And we will now get a flow rate of 14,250 kilograms per hour in the overflow. Now for the balance at stage one, we add the mass of the copper sulfate in the water plus V2 equal to the V1 plus the Kg solution in L1. We will now get a V2 of 32,650 kilograms per hour. Now for the A balance in stage one, we add the mass of the copper sulfate plus the V2 flow rate multiplied by V2Y equal to the V1 multiplied by its composition plus the Kg solution in the inner flow multiplied by its composition in the exit. And we will now get a V2Y which is equal to 0 0.0472. Now to compute for the number of stages, we divide the kilograms of A minus V1 times its composition in the exit, divided by the kilograms of solution in the underflow. Now, we will get an LNX of 0 0.003. Just to actually solve the number of stages, we use this formula, it was given in the book, log 0 minus 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.0472 minus 0 0.08, divide the whole thing by log, 0 minus 0 0.0472 divided by 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08. We now get a value of 4.896. We add 1 to that, then the actual number of stages, therefore, is approximately 5.896 or 6 stages. That's it. Thank you.